Hello everybody, I am Tom and you are watching me play Destiny 2. So today's video is going to be a guide on how to get every single security drone around Destiny 2. So with the introduction of Revision Zero, there is a bunch of yellow bubbles, or balloons I guess, they're security drones, that are floating all around the, the map. We've been seeing them, they've been there since the start of the season, but now that we have Revision Zero we can shoot them and blow them up. So, I'm going to do a guide on how to get all of them. First, we're going to start with the ones in the world. We'll start with the moon. Alright, so the first one is in Archer's Line. You can actually see it all the way from here. Right there. It is up on top of this big bridge. There's a few ways to get up onto this bridge. You can kind of climb your way up. Granted, you don't need to, you can just shoot it from down here, but there is a way to get up on top of the bridge if you wish. Just like that. And then right down there at the end, security drone. Okay, so now we're in the Hellmouth. There are two in the Hellmouth. Uh, the first one... ...is right here. This is near the K1 Logistics Lost Sector. I'm not showing up on the map for some reason. Uh, it's right here, <laughs> is where it is. Up on top of that. And from this one, you turn around and you need to go to the north side of this big hole. But, you can see it right from here. And because this is a nice pulse rifle, you can just shoot it from the other side. Alright, here we are in Anchor of Light. The first one is where this public event spawns, just down here. Right there. And from here... You can see it just up there on top of the radio tower. Okay, so next we're in Sorrow's Harbour. Uh, this is the point where you spawn in when you fast travel here. And we want to go all the way to the other side of the area. Just up there. Then from here we want to go inside the actual fortress structure itself. And just up there. Now for the next ones, they're in each of the Lost Sectors. So we'll take the Lost Sectors in order and we'll do each of them. Be back momentarily. Alright everybody, so K1 Logistics is the first Lost Sector. This is in Archer's Line, the entrance is here. Once you get all the way to the end to the boss fight, it's the boss arena right here. Right on top of there as you walk, this is the entrance you walk in. Just on your right, just there. Alright everybody, so we're in K1 Crew Quarters, which is the one in Hellmouth, this Lost Sector here. So this one is right here, which after you come up the top of this hill, that's the entrance over there, you come through the entrance, come up this hill, just before you jump over, right there. Alright everybody, so we are in K1 Revolutions, or Revelation I should say, which is in Sorrow's Harbour. Uh, interestingly, there's none in K1 Communion, so you can ignore this Lost Sector, but there is one up in Revelation. Uh, so you come through the start, run through until you hit the point where you're on this floating platform and you have to jump over to the other side, and it's just there. And with that, that should be all 10 on the moon. There you go, destroy all security drones and Revision Zero on the moon. Moving on to Europa. Alright everybody, so we're here at Cadmus Ridge. First one, as soon as you enter Cadmus Ridge, from the start area, it's right there, you can see it immediately, it's underneath this big structure. The next one is over this direction. Right there. Alright everybody, so we're in Asterian Abyss. Uh, coming from the previous area we were just in, in Casimir Bridge, if you take this path here. Coming down, if you look up to the left, you can see right up there, there's two goblins up there that will spawn as well. But right up there is the first. The next one, if you keep going in a straight line from that entrance. Right here. Okay, so next is Eventide Ruins. This right here is the spot that you will spawn into if you fast travel here. First one is if you come into this building, where you usually enter the Lost Sector. Right up there. That's the first one. 
the next one, if you come back out this door, and you head over to where the start of the Deepstone Crypt is. There's one right here. This is the door that enters into the crypt. Right there. Okay, so the last one that is not in the Lost Sectors is in Beyond. If you come... Actually can't see it, it's so far away when you load in. It's actually uncut. But if you load into Beyond where Elsie is, and then head over this way a bit, you'll be able to see on top of this thing. There's a balloon right up there. Next off, we have the Lost Sectors. Alright everyone, so we're in the Predition Lost Sector, which is the one in Cadmus Ridge. You get all the way to the end, beat the boss. Uh, the balloon is right here. This is actually the first one I shot when I got the gun. This was the one I tested to see whether or not this is what was actually happening, and that's why I started making this video. Uh, so I shot this one before I started recording, but there is one just sitting right here. Alright everybody, so we're now in the Concealed Void Lost Sector. Once you get into this room here with all the uh, Vex Milk on the floor, jump across, and it's right here. Nice and easy. Alright everyone, so we're in Bunker E15 Lost Sector. Once you get to this room here where you kill the Minotaur, you can see it through this glass, but you can't get to it yet. What you need to do is run out into this next room. It's the big main room before you get to the boss. And on the other side of this door, you can get into this little room there and shoot it right there. And that there is the last one for Europa. Drone Destruction 1, there you go. Okay, so as you can see here, there is also six in each of the Heist Battlegrounds. So we'll be going the Heist Battleground Europa first. Let me uh, jump in there and do them. I'm going to jump down here so I don't get zapped by a laser. But just up there is the first one. Alright everybody, so this first room here where you have these cryptoliths, just up here, you can just see the top of it there, you can shoot that there. Uh, the next one is relatively close by, so I'll just walk to it directly. As you come down this corridor... Right here. Okay, so when you're in this room here with these pods that keep flying by just before you jump down towards the big head, right here. Alright, so after jumping down through that section here, you can come down to just where this uh, the, the big totem is that the, the chorister goes, and just down on this pipe is the next one. Alright everybody, so the last one is inside the big Clovis headroom. Uh, you can largely ignore all the enemies. It's just right down here. All the way to the right. Just down here. That's all of them in the Europa Battleground. Frame status calamitous. Alright everybody. So we're on to the Moon Heist. The first one, this is literally right at the start. Right there. Alright, so after you clear the first area, you go to the first slide. If you look down onto the left hand side, as we're going down... Balloon. Uh, it's worth noting that you can see that from the bottom, so you can just turn around and shoot it from the bottom, it's fine, you don't have to do it halfway through. But it's just on the first slide going down. Okay, so after coming down the slide, you'll run through this room, come into this room that has all the mines on the floor. And then just on the right hand side, right there. Okay, so following the corridor rooms round, you get to this room here, and then just down to the right, it's just here. This is the corridor just before the big room that you've got to do a uh, big fight in. Okay, so this is the big room where you have to defend the ghost, you have to plug him in there and then defend. Just up here, just where the glass is. Alright, the final one, once you actually reach the- go away. Once you actually reach the vault security door, if you go to the right, you can see just underneath that pillar, right there. And that should be the last one for Battleground Moon. Perfect. Alright everybody, time for Heist Mars. 
So I cleared out all of the capture points. Um, it's just easier to do that first for demonstration purposes. Uh, but the first one, that there is B. Uh, C is just kind of down that road there. And this one is just in this little corner here. Just here. Underneath where the chorister goes to link his thing. Alright, then after destroying the hive gunk, right up here, this is where you enter. After destroying the hive gunk, right there. Alright, so when you first come down and drop down into this scaffolding area, you come from up there and you kind of jump down and land here. Before you jump over, climb up and jump over to the next platform, just head over this way. There's one right here. And I'll keep going because there's one in the same area pretty much. And just up there, it's the next one. As you come to enter this boss arena, well boss arena, this this fight arena, it's not really a boss arena per se. If you come all the way up to the door, I'm not going to bother killing everything first because this one's easy. Just up to your left, pattern. on top. And that there is the last one. All of the battleground ones in Mars. Alright everybody, so finally is Operation Seraph Shield. There were 12 available in this mission. There is a few caveats I have to go over first. Notably, there is a couple of upgrades that you need to get all of these. Strictly speaking, people have already found a way to get them all. I'll have in the description a link to a video that shows you how to do all of the out of bounds skips to get the ones that let you get past security doors. And if you have any kind of very fast movement, i.e. Eager Edge on a sword, shoulder charge on a titan, uh, Icarus Dash might even work. Uh, all of the laser grids you can actually get through very, very easily. So I'll show you how to get through those and how to get all of them with those. But for all the ones behind the doors, I'm not going to show you the out-of-bounds skips because honestly I can't bother going out-of-bounds for a Sparrow because that's all you get off this Triumph, right? You collect every single one of these, you get a, a Sparrow. It's a nice looking Sparrow, but I can just get it next week or the week after whenever we get the unlock for getting through those security doors, right? I'm not that worried. But I will have in the description a link if you want to complete this all in one go. Um, there will be a video in the description how you can go out of bounds to get the last couple that you need. But, let's go. Alright, so directly before the entrance to this place, there's a little ogre standing there letting you go into the front door. There is a little platform that you can land to underneath. Right here. This here is one of the security clearance upgrades. There was one right behind this door. Um... As I said, all of these ones are unobtainable now, technically, although they all have out-of-bounds glitches to get every single one of them, so you can get them. Nevertheless, it's going to be behind that door. Alright, everybody. So in this first room, this is the first place you get the scanner once you're aboard the actual satellite substation. Uh, you scan the first thing, go through that little grate in the back to come all the way around here. This is the second hack option. Uh, but this laser grid here, as I said, if you can go fast enough, you can go through them. Make sure you're not hitting every single one of them. Uh, but it allows you to go through and get this one. Alright, so the next one is in this big yellow room uh, where you pick up the scanner. This door here. Alright, everybody. So in this room here, just before you go into the room that uh, will fry you if you don't walk on the correct pattern. You can see it just up there is where the ball is. Actually getting in under the stairs, there's a little opening here. And you can shoot it. Alright, everybody. So, after you pass through the uh, the laser wall room, whoops, you get to the first room where you have, um, there we go, I've got operator. The first room where you actually get introduced to operator, um, and there's a door right here that you need the security upgrade to go through. Unlock this door, and it's right on the other side of this door. Alright, so you come into this room. This room is the one that has two shriekers in it. There's a shrieker up there and up there. We have another laser wall, once again. I did it at the wrong height. I need to be a bit lower to get through there. Uh, the way it works, by the way, is you need to go fast enough through the middle. It's very strange. I don't know why it works. I would have thought it would just be going fast enough through them. Because you take literally no damage when you do it correctly. But it's, uh... It's interesting that... Eh, Eager Eds works. It's very strange. Nevertheless, there's one right behind here. Also, sacred chest here. So that's fun. 
Alright, once again, we have another secret door. Opens up a vent, but we need the upgrade to get in there. Okay, everybody. Uh, in the big boss fight where you do the, uh, the three brigs and the big hive guy, uh, there is another security door just here. Once again, on the other side of this door, you'll get another balloon. Alright, everyone, we're back. So, after you do the space walk, you come up and you went to this room here. Just on the left, you can see this room here that's got the lasers. Once again, we can eager edge through here. And turn around and we've got ourselves another one. Okay, for the record, this room here, just after the room we were in, you come in here, you fight, you kill off the rest of that big hive boss that you were fighting. This here is the door that we actually need to get into. You can see these are all lighting up corresponding to the ones we have. Alright everybody, so this room here is the one just before the boss. As you can see here, there's a rally flag spot there. It is just in here is where the uh, final orb is. And once again, you need the uh, upgrade or a glitch to get in there. Okay, so the boss is now defeated. And with the boss dead, the last two are in this last room. So if we come through to the final room of the dungeon, you have one over here, which again, you need the upgrade to get through the door. And then we have another one over here, which we can eager edge through. I took my sword off because I did the boss. That was dumb of me. I just pulled out my linear fusion and killed myself. There we go. So there's one in here. Eh. And that is the final one. So that is the location of every single one of them. As I said, in the uh, description box below and in the pinned comment, I will have a link to a video that shows you how to glitch past all of the... Uh, the security doors if you want to get the sparrow early but honestly i mean i don't know if anyone cares to be perfectly honest i mean it's just a sparrow uh but you can technically get it already if you want it so i will link that video in the description but that's it for this video if you like the video please leave a like if you're not subscribed please consider subscribing as always thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye guys